Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Cancer, what's coming at you? The Queen of Pentacles could be Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is specifically Capricorn. The Nine of Pentacles. This person is single and ready to mingle. They look good. They're feeling good. Five of Pentacles. This could be, if this is somebody from the past, they left you hanging, left you out in the cold. Could have ghosted you here, Cancer. The sun. But you were happy. You were happy. Or you could have ghosted them, left them out in the cold. Let's see what's going on here. Now, for some of you, that's just a fear. For some of you, this is a new person. In the last relationship that you had, you got ghosted or something, and you're hanging on to this fear that it's going to happen again. So it's like this relationship is going to have you feeling really, really good, but it's going to scare you. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. For some of you, you work with this individual. Four of Wands. You could have been, if this is from the past, some of you had a committed relationship with this person. Could have been a long-term commitment. Could even have been marriage here. And if this ended, it could have been because of a third party situation. Tell me more. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, so there's some anxiety and fear surrounding this, old or new. There's anxiety and fear because of this Five of Pentacles energy here, because of being left out in the cold and being just this feeling of emptiness. I'm feeling cold. Okay, James is here. Do you have a message? James is one of my guides. He's not always here in the readings, although he's been showing up more frequently. He comes in singing. In this case, it's go tell it on the mountain. Uh, Queen of Swords is clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you know your worth and you're really going to want to communicate your truth to this individual in a very firm way if you allow them back into your life. Even if you don't, I feel like you still want answers. And if this is new... You may into intellectualize this relationship at first and see how that repertoire goes before you really dip down into this heart space. At least this is your plan, Stan. So let's see how this plan goes, <laughs> Cancer. It's like this is the way that you're protecting your heart. And sometimes, as hard as we try to protect it, it doesn't always go as planned. It kind of just falls wide open sometimes, right? The stars, yeah, see? So there's something you've been wishing for. Um, one, it's healing. Uh, so this communication will be about healing this situation if this person is from the past. Even if they're not, if they're from the present, 
you're still focused on making sure that you're healed before you get into that heart space with love. Eight of Swords, yeah. So you're all up in your head. You're in this self-imprisoned state. You have to know that it's self-induced, okay? Going over and over in your mind about this Five of Pentacles energy. That's what I feel this Eight of Swords is. You are the only one who can set yourself free, Cancer. So love yourself enough to do that. You don't deserve to be, you know, caged up like that. Especially within the mind that's... You know, I've been there, Cancer. It is no fun. Once you become aware of it, it's a little bit easier to leave that energy. I know sometimes it's it's not. You just got to wait till things play out. But the awareness does help. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles energy. Why are you stuck on this feeling? Why is this feeling lingering? Why haven't you processed this? The Ace of Chalices. Because it's like you're afraid to step over that line into new love, into opening up the heart. It's like it's a hurdle you need to, to, to jump over, but only you can do it. The Knave of Wands. You're trying to be optimistic. You're trying to be like, yeah, I want love. Yes, this person seems like they can be, they are an opportunity at love. I feel something for them. I want to see where this goes. But in the back of your mind is this ghosting and this feeling of loneliness and the potential of somebody leaving. The Knave of Swords. So you're doing a lot of, I like seeing this here. Okay, because this tells me, Cancer, that you're doing a lot of internal reflection, okay, about this Five of Pentacles energy. So you are aware, and I don't think you want this to be lingering. So you are trying to work this out, but in the middle of trying to work this out, this person comes in. Old or new, I'm feeling both. So tell me about the sun, strength, Leo energy again. So you see the potential, you feel the potential at happiness here, unequivocal happiness here. So you're trying to be strong and, and really, really move forward and be brave and move past this, this energy of fear. The lovers, you got to make this choice. Cancer, this is your choice, your choice alone. It's a very personal choice here. Gemini energy. It is possible. I don't know if this person shows up and maybe you're with somebody, but I feel like this is more you making the choice to go forward in love once again, to open the heart space. I feel there is a strong attraction to this individual here. Can I have one more? One more for cancer here. The four of chalices. This is not taking an opportunity, or at least this is going through your mind, this choice. It's like to be strong. Can I be strong and brave enough to jump over this fear and really jump into love? fall into love or am I just going to let that opportunity pass me by and move on wow so what's this person if this person is from the past what is their intention then I'll get the intention of the new if this person is from the past what is their intention Ooh, the devil energy to tempt you. It could only be sex. Let me get another card on this. Two of wands to move on and leave the past behind. But I feel a strong sexual connection here. One more, one more. 
Mm, five of Swords. Okay. If this person's from the past, I'm not so sure that you should trust this. They may have an ulterior motive for coming back. In this case, it could be sex, but it could be anything material. It could be money. It could be codependency, but I feel like there's an ulterior motive. They're back for a reason to get something from you, whether that's sex, whether that's money, whether that's material items, it's something. Whether that's your energy, right? Like if it's a narcissist and they're coming back to feed off your energy. So I would question it if they are from the past. What about if they're new? The king of chalices. No, they're going to be open. Cancer, they want to love you. Their intention is to love you. The empress. Yep. The three of swords. They want to heal you. They are going to have this feeling because they're going to feel you. This person is intuitive here. With the Empress and the King of Chalices, this person is very intuitive. And I feel like they're going to feel this fear. They're going to, it's like they can smell fear. And they're going to smell this heartbreak and want to heal it for you. They know they can't heal it for you, but they want. They want you to heal. That's going to be their focus. Their focus is going to be you. This is a very selfless individual. They know their worth, but they care about you very deeply, or they will care about you very deeply. Okay? So I would go for the new. Okay? And when I say past person here, this past person okay is somebody that you had a long-term relationship with either marriage or it was long term like you lived with them for a couple of years okay not like you knew them in the past for for a year but never had a relationship okay just to be clear on that all right so two chalices this is your advice here to come together and love so this is going to be up to you. Use your intuition over everything, Cancer. Trust it. Even with this new person, if you don't trust this new person, then you know, then you don't. Your intuition is there for a reason. Too many. Advice for Cancer. Advice for Cancer. Resurrection. Reconsider a project or recall a person from the past to resurrect an idea. So this could be one of the reasons if this person from the past is coming back, try to pull a positive from this. There's always a positive in everything. So if they trigger an idea within you, one, do not tell them. Uh, but two, if this is, okay, if this is a new person, I want you to think of that past person that left you out in the cold okay and i want you to pay attention to anything that comes to mind okay and then move on that idea because i feel like there's something there about that past person whether it was a conversation whatever it was okay that needs to be resurrected all right cancer i hope this resonated please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below don't forget to comment as well let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Cancer, and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.